Playing baseball at Rodriguez Field in Calexico, bottom three, the Scottsdale Borrego Springs, 3-2 junior Jorge Esqueda tied the game with his base hit, which brings in Sebastian Jaime to the top of the four, two out, and Juan Carlos Lara gets the Rams batter to pop up to catcher Alonzo Hurtago. Later, two outs in the Rams' fifth, and it'll be Lara again. He's going to get the batter to ground out to Jaime at short. You're coming up just a few moments later. There it is, and Jaime will fire on to first for the third out. Scott's in the sixth inning. It's going to be the hefty lefty Jorge Esqueda again, this time an RBI double. After a shaky start, the Scots catch fire late and win 13-3. Here's head coach Luis Gonzalez after the game. Let's just play baseball. Let's just play baseball. Let's just not focus on, on moving forward at the moment. It's just pitch by pitch, inning by inning, and then that's count kind of the, the game plan after the third inning. Again, the final 13-3 in favor of Vincent Memorial, the Manzanita League champions. They've now won 12 games in a row and haven't lost a game since the first two games of the season when they lost twice to Calipatria. The Scots take the 12 seed and head now to the 5 seed Calvin Christian. Tomorrow, Coach Gonzalez tells me he doesn't know much about Calvin Christian and he's studying them right now. Good luck to the Scots tomorrow and a tip of the cap to Athletic Director Carla Soto and some of the fans for today's footage. And speaking of Calipatria, the Hornets rallied for four runs in the top of the seventh to stun Christian Victory Christian Academy this afternoon in the other Division Five play-in game. The Hornets nabbed the 11 seed, and that earns them another road game tomorrow at Kearney. Here's head coach C.J. Perez on today's big win. As a coach, uh, there's probably no better feeling when you see your boys believe in each other and in themselves. And positive outcome comes out you know and I think it changes them and it's games like this that catapult us that could catapult us into making a, a decent run out of this playoff you know future looks bright for the Hornets more teams from the Imperial Valley also taking the playoff diamonds tomorrow in division three southwest a nine seed heads to Valhalla to take on the eight seeded Norseman in division four the Central Spartans get a home playoff game as the number seven seed against the 10th seeded Red Devils of Sweetwater. The winner gets Calexico on Wednesday. To girls softball games tomorrow, the 10th seeded Brawley Wildcats are on the road against the 7th seeded Longhorns of Rancho Buena Vista. It's a Division I showdown. And in Division II, Coach Lopez and the 9th seeded Calexico Bulldogs will ride the team bus to San Diego and square off against the 8th seeded Wolverines of Westview. I also want to add that in Division IV, Baseball Palo Verde is at Monte Vista, and the girls' softball team, also in Division IV, are hosting Fallbrook, and that's all the time we have for sports.